on camera. Hey, Scotty. Come here, baby. Where, where are you going? Any resemblance? What do you think? You see the similarities? <laughs> Scotty Cat <laughs> and Bobcat. New addition on the farm. This has been something that if you've been watching the videos since the beginning, honestly, every farm show we go to, every trade show we visit, I'm always saying like, oh man, all that Grant wants for his birthday, for Christmas, for Valentine's Day, wants a skid steer. Just like the last farm show, Grant is still looking at skid steers that are, don't tell him this, way too big and way too expensive, but we can dream. It's pretty cool. We looked into a ton of different brands. We even rented a few and tried them out, but we landed on this one. It's a 2019 Bobcat T595. The T in the T595 stands for tracks. We demoed a few wheeled ones, but ultimately I think we decided that we liked the tracks better. Um, and the condition of the tracks on this machine in particular are pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's a two speed, meaning they can go kind of fast, which is nice because a lot of our fields are pretty close to our shop. And so instead of having to trailer this to a field that's maybe only like a mile or two or three miles away, we have the option of running it down the road. Um, it did come with this bucket. But of course, what's fun about a skid steer is that it's kind of a mix and match on attachments. And so you can put whatever you want on the front of this. You could do like a tree puller, you could do a big snow pusher, you could have a post hole digger, you can have a grapple, um, forks. There's a tons of different options. This is a super versatile machine. Um, and then the inside, the inside of the machine is always my favorite part. Grant likes the outsides, I like the inside. So the door opens like this, and then there's a few steps that you just crawl in, okay? And you sit down, it is an air ride seat, and I didn't know this until we got it actually here. It has a heated seat, which is gonna be great for when we're pushing snow. This comes down, um, and then the skid steers that I've run in the past have all been foot controls, but this is all hand control, so that's definitely going to take some getting used to for me but I'm excited to learn and expand my skills. You excited about this, Grant? Oh Finally. yeah, I am beyond excited. How many years in the making is this been? I've always wanted to skid steer. I've always gotten to run like neighbors and friends to get steers and stuff, but never had to have my own, so. Like I said, this is a super versatile machine. So this is going to be able to be used for just about any job we have on the farm. This piece of equipment, it's not like for farmers. It's not a money-making piece of equipment like a tractor is this is more of a property maintenance rescue piece of equipment for it's just a, another tool in the toolbox for us to get our jobs done every day absolutely something and, that i really like about skid steers is that while there is a lot of jobs that you can do with the tractor that you can't do with a skid steer you can get into a lot of places with a skid steer that you can't with a tractor i mean the size of that rear tire is pretty much the size of the skid steer. So I just really like how maneuverable this thing is. You can get in tree lines, you can get through gates. Um, I'm just really excited for the projects you can do with this. And if you guys remember, something that Grant and I have been working towards since we started dating was buying a property together. So we put that video out um, about how excited we are that we'd been renting this for so long and we finally got the opportunity to buy it. So we're going to be working on a lot of property maintenance and upkeep with this thing, which I'm really excited for. This thing is, it is used. It's a little rough. You can see all the paint's gone. I think it was a, uh, on a concrete job site. You can see it's, it's got some rust, you know, it's got some dings, but and it's got 2,400 hours, which is not a few for 2019, but it was in our price range. So that okay. is our... Watch out. That's why we decided to go with this one. Here's what we got. We did have it in and serviced, and so new belt has been put on, new filters for everything, oil's been changed, so that when it got here, it was just ready to go. Um, but then after the first, was it 200 hours, then we'll redo and do all that service again yep. on it. Yep. All right, five seconds, find dipstick. One, two, oh wow, you know, pro. Too easy. It's brightened right there. 
Nice. Good clean oil. I am really, really excited. I hope you guys can tell that from the video. I hope that you guys are just as excited about this. I always hope that when we make new additions onto the farm, like my new pickup, for example, when I finally got the opportunity to buy that, I hope that you guys can be just as excited because these are things that Grant and I have been working for for a really long, long time, and we're not going anywhere. So if we can just keep investing in the farm and keep investing in our property, we're going to be enjoying the benefits of this skid steer until it gives up on us, we find something better, or we'll die with it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this thing lasts quite a while. Yeah, I have high hopes. I think it will. got this trailer on auction for a screaming deal probably six months ago. I knew we'd buy a skid steer eventually and we can always use more trailers around. And so I bought this trailer in preparation for the skid steer. Watch out, Scotty, you're gonna get run over. Your big brother's here. All right, you ready to listen to this thing? Let's hear it start up. That's so quiet. I'm used to filling up tractors that have like 200 gallon diesel tanks. I don't think this thing will take as much juice. Right. Hand controls are much different than foot controls. Did you know that? Oh yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. You know how scary it is to only have your left hand being controlled? <laughs> Do you know that I am not very good at hand-eye coordination? It's not a skill I possess. I'm gonna need to spend some serious hours in this thing. You'll get better at it. I hope so. Ooh, that was, you were doing a wheelie the whole time. We're gonna strap the bobcat down, but Scotty, you can't come. Not this time, okay? The trailer's not the place for you. <laughs>
Pulling something out of the weeds, huh? I was gonna say, I guess you could call this rescuing something from the weeds. So we got this skidskier attachment a while ago. Check out the teeth on this thing. It's pretty mean looking. Uh, we bought this way before we had a skid steer. And so we actually put these adapters. <laughs> we actually put these adapters on so that it could hook on to the front part of the loader tractor. Unfortunately, with the loader tractor, you're not just looking out of a front window like this. In front of the window, there's a big hood. And so you can't really see what you're doing especially with something this tiny. And so we're going to get to take these adapters off because we don't need them anymore. So it's gonna hook right on to our quick attach skid steer bobcat. Just hooks right in and then these little locks just lock it in place. But check this thing out. It's got hydraulics on it. Look at those grabbers. And you just Ooh. grab a tree and pull it Probably out. Probably need to uh, clean these things yeah, off. I got, I got a towel them. somewhere. Kind of dirty. Those things are crusty. Kind of crusty looking. But it should just hook right up. Should be all good. This thing looks pretty heavy. Think we can muscle that off? Loader tractor's not exactly here right now. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we just need to pull this off, like, like this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Okay, come my way. Let's go put this uh. somewhere. We're not gonna get wow. Okay. Whew, I almost put that down on my foot. That would have been bad. Okay. We should. Hey. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's even smaller now. Oh, uh, so yeah. Let's hook it up and then we'll pull it out here and we'll clean off the hydraulics. Nailed it. Hey Dad. Hey, do you remember what you did with the uh, old connectors, hydraulic connectors that were on that tree puller? Is there different for the skid steer? Oh, it came with those on there. Okay, I guess we'll have to go find some. Oh, I understand. Okay, sounds good. Bye. He ordered it that way. Well, that makes sense. We didn't have a skid steer when we bought this. Uh, here's what we're working with. So here's what the hydraulic connections look like on the skid steer. And there's that. So no comprende. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work. This needs one that fits over it and miss it. Well, yeah, they just don't work. So, well, okay. Gotta go to town at some point to get those. Sounds good. You have to take it off at this point here? Yep. These tools are kind of garbage. Ah! Ah! Grit is falling on me. Did you get it? No. Oh thing. my goodness. It like slips out like the gearing is wrong on it. Yeah. Garbage. Yeah, if we can tighten it up. This is why you get the Harbor Freight Crescent Wrench. <laughs> never buy a Crescent Wrench from Harbor Freight. I love Harbor Freight, but never buy a Crescent Wrench from that. I want to help him hold things, but sometimes he's just like me and he gets stubborn. <laughs> he thinks he knows what's best, just like I do. Ugh, come on. That's maybe one thing you guys don't know about Grant and I. We are both incredibly stubborn. Uh. <laughs> and apparently this fitting is pretty stubborn too. Come on! Oh, it moved. Oh, come on. Ugh. Wow. Good job, Grant. Most dramatic hydraulic. And changing I've ever seen. Got it? Uh, let's put this up so we don't drain all the food out. That would be unfortunate. 
Alright, so need these. Take a picture of those. We'll be set. And I had to go to three different places. However, we found something that's gonna work for us. Have to get some adapters. <laughs> Check this out. So this is the one that I know will work to the skid steer. And then we had to put three adapters on it to get this part to fit on to the hose. So it's almost comical looking, but it's gonna work for us. That one doesn't need, it's gonna work. Okay, okay. so it's just, but so we need to tighten it. Unfortunately, the previous owner of this property planted these trees and I'm sure when they were littler they did a lot better but they were planted so close together they choked each other out and they're dead now which is super unfortunate because they would have been really beautiful trees but we have to rip them out so here goes nothing. I am definitely a lot more used to using the hand and foot controls in Bobcat skid steers. And so I have Grant moving some dirt in the yard and I'm going to take this opportunity to smooth some stuff out and it's a really big wide open space. And so I feel like it's a good opportunity for me to get some good practice in. right hand this controls the bucket and this left hand is what moves us backwards forward side and side which is just really strange because usually I'm used to having both hands control which direction I'm going so it's definitely going to take some practice Grant showed me a really cool control on the right hand lift. So it's, it's float. So when you put the bucket down, hold on. Okay, I want the bucket at this angle and then I'm gonna go down and press the button and then that puts it in float. Okay, let me switch hands here. Now I'm going to drive backwards and the bucket is just kind of dragging the dirt along. And this is working way better than me trying to drive forwards. 
definitely is still taking a lot of practice. I don't have fabulous hand-eye coordination, and Grant suggested trying to run it with just this hand, like take my right hand completely off the joystick, and that seems to help because I find myself trying to push both joysticks forward to go forward, and obviously that's not how it works. So I'm like hunched completely forward using all of my cognitive focus to pay attention. Which way do I need to be leaning this joystick? Didn't play video games as a kid, so this is kind of tricky. I have a whole new respect for people who operate machines like this every single day for hours and hours. It's really difficult to get a large portion of dirt smooth. It's tricky. Well, this big pile of dirt, I guess it started out as a pile of dirt, but I feel like I've done kind of a decent job smoothing it out. Overall, I just wanted to say that I am so, so thrilled that we have a skid steer. I'm super excited for all the projects that Grant and I are going to be able to do with this thing. I hope you guys are just as excited. Thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.